Why can't government print unlimited number of currency? And what happens if they print unlimited number of currency? And what happened to the country which printed unlimited number of currency like Zimbabwe? We will discuss in this video. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Stars World. Here is the explanation. There are no restrictions on printing money on any government. Then why don't government print as much currency notes as they like? The answer is simply inflation. So let's have brief about inflation. You see, the currency notes that we use do not have any intrinsic value. They only have exchange value. Means one dollar does not actually mean it's one dollar. Actually mean it's the exchange it for good service worth one dollar that's why it's called legal tender so how does the current system works consider a hypothetical country with no foreign transactions for the time being assume there are 10 people in it and each have one dollar each there are various goods that are produced in the country by these people but whatever be the value of resources costs incurred by them these goods can be exchanged for just the 10 one dollar notes present in the currency system that means the sum of value of all goods and services produced in an economy is equal to 10 one dollar notes therefore their equation the c here sum of value of goods and services produced and exchanged is equal to sum of all currency present here we can see this equation. Now the central bank is unhappy that the people just have $10 worth of money and decided to give each person an additional $1. That means there are $21 notes in the system. But the goods and services that are produced do not change. Alas, the additional $10 was supplied could not buy any more goods than the ones already present. Here the point. So, the exchange value of each good service increases. Thus, applying the above formula, the goods and services produced in the second scenario will not be exchanged for $21 notes, reducing the buying power of each $1 note. So, same worth whenever it is before and after also increases. This is, my friend, is called inflation. And no country likes it. Almost every country knows it. Well, some don't countries like Zimbabwe, which people printed a whole lot of notes thinking that people will have more money. What in turn happened was single egg ended up costing thousands of Zimbabwe dollars. There was inflation of 70 billion percent and even then central bank kept printing 100 billion dollar notes. Here you can see 1 million Zimbabwe dollar could not buy only beer also. A typical Zimbabwe going to, to the market. See this pic shows it all. You get the point. That's why central banks worldwide have strict regulations on how much money they want to print and keep it balanced with the total amount of goods and services produced in the country. So friends, here is the explanation. I hope you understand. Thank you. Thank you all.